Hi, I'm Rich. Part three, the water. The motor I've decided to go for is the Defang BBS HD. This is a 1500 watt motor with the ability to go to 3000 watts with an additional speed controller. I'll be running this at 1500 watts and 52 volts. It's quite heavy, I'd say probably about 5 kilograms. And to mount it, I'm just going to cut the bottom bracket off this bike here, which will slide over this tube, and I'll just weld that down to my frame, and then just bolt it down to hold it in place. This then houses the cranks, which in turn have the pedals on. Let's do it. Now it wasn't long enough to fit onto the motor shaft, so that's why I've cut it in half. So I'm just going to sit that down to the bottom of the threads. I'm just going to weld it on like that. And this is what I'll screw on to hold it in place. Now I'll just sit the motor up here. So this bottom bracket holds it in place and takes all the force off the motor. However, it doesn't stop the motor from twisting round. So next what I'm going to do is take a bit of metal and I'm just going to weld it on here but then I'm going to drill a hole in it which will screw through into this mounting here on the motor then this bracket which actually holds the motor in place will bolt down and then this screw will go through that metal plate into the mounting hole on the motor and that'll stop it from rotating around. Perfect fit. Here I'm just using a little bit of bar just to weld the two bottom brackets together just to give it a bit more strength. So here's the bottom bracket that I've welded up. It's got the bar on top to give it a bit of strength and then this is a little bracket to screw onto the motor. So I've decided to mount the motor about here fits nice and snug in the corner of the frame so the bracket just slides on here nice snug fit then that bracket meets up with that through holder so now all I'll do is spot weld that on slide the motor out and weld it all up just want to make sure it's central So the bracket that holds the motor on slots on here. Now because this motor is the extended shaft version, it's three different versions, this is the longest one, it means there's a gap between where you put the bolt through this bracket and where it screws into the motor. So they provide you with these spaces. So you get two of them, as there's one here and one under here where it screws in. The one down here is fine, fits perfectly. But because I've actually put this little fin on, this is going to be too long. So all I need to do now is cut the spacer down by the thickness 
of this little fin. And there we go. So that's all cut down. And that's the motor mounted. So this is the chain ring that came with the Bafang motor. It's a 46 tooth chain ring. That is quite high for a chain ring, which will give the bike a lot of speed but low torque. Now because I live in a very hilly area, I wanted a smaller chain ring which would give me an increased torque and because I've got gears on the back wheel it means I'll also be able to get up to high speeds as well. So I did some research into the best chain ring for these Bafang motors and the results came in was this chain ring which is a Lecky bling ring. This is the smallest one they do which is 28 teeth and that'll fit just there. This chain ring has been specifically designed for the Bafang motors, so it has five holes to mount it to the motor, which is identical to the stock chain ring. Now these are the cranks that came with the motor. These pedals, again, I've just taken off the bike that I'm cutting up for parts. So all I need to do is just mount that chain ring and then mount the bells on. There we go. And that's the cranks and pedals mounted. So this is the derailleur off the bike that I've cut apart. I'm just gonna expand it like that and then put a cable tie between these two points which is where the wire would go. And that's just gonna hold it in place so I can use the bike in the one gear to test it out. And to mount this, I'm just gonna slide it up into the shaft and tighten it. When installing your chain, there's a certain direction it has to go on to make it work properly. Uh, if your chain or your cassette's making a lot of noise in your derailleur or anything like that, it's probably because your chain's on the incorrect way. Motor's mounted, so are the pedals, so now you can ride like a normal bike. Apart from at the moment, still no brake. I've got my new saddle fitted. Check out our next video on how I made it. Thanks for watching.